So I am very excited. Speaking of um, getting yourself better and learning things, I learned a lot about nutrition and exercise uh, because I don't want to have recurrence. So I have changed uh, my eating habits and I became a whole foods plant-based person, which is not for everybody, but that's what I uh, decided to do. And I believe that I don't know if I want to live very long, but I, I believe that my quality of life to me is very important. And I want to share with you some uh, really good information on nutrition and exercise from my dear, dear friend. Uh, she's the owner of Fit and Fabulous, and she's beautiful inside and out. Please welcome the Fit and Fabulous Christy Latre. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. So good to see you. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for being here and sharing your your tips. You've been my personal trainer for quite a while, like 20 we years ago. Way, way back. back. <laughs> way back. Uh, we and were both so, just five years old. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we don't age. We don't, <laughs> we're like ageless. Absolutely. Uh, but before we get into this, I want to tell everybody this information that we're sharing with you is for educational purposes only. Always consult a doctor regarding your physical and mental health or before starting any diet changes or exercise routines. Absolutely. That being said, thank you. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so let's start with food, right? Because we all love food. I love mm -hmm. food. You know that, especially mm -hmm. my vegan sausages. You know, I love that. <laughs> With a lot of mustard. Yes, on Yes, I do know that. Girl, girl, I had two packs last week, but that we're not gonna go there. Um, uh, uh, what? Um, yes, I did. I did, and they were so good. It's okay. <laughs> I, I can treat myself to sausages. Uh, but are there any diets or foods that you recommend that can help us stay healthy? Okay, so first of all, I don't like the diet word unless you're using it like. Well, within my diet, I eat blah, 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 because diets don't work. We all know mm -hmm. that. Right. Yes. So you really need to get to a point where you are putting in foods into your diet and not dieting as a thing that you're doing. So food that keeps us healthy. And this is for everyone. I don't care if you're diabetic, if you're battling cancer, if you're battling a disease, if you're just a person who wants to be healthy or if you don't have anything going on at all, the best thing that you can ever do is eat real food. I don't care if you want to be a pescatarian, vegetarian, a whatever a tarian, okay? Like the main thing is <laughs> yes. that you eat real food. The more we stay away from processed foods, the better off our body is. Those processed foods have so many chemicals and so much junk in it that our body doesn't know what to do with it. Wow. And so when our body doesn't know what to do with it, that's when we start feeling terrible. Our body stops functioning efficiently and we promote disease within our body, and inflammation within our body. So the best thing you can do is eat real food. And when I say that, I mean, it's grown out of the ground. I mean, it is not in a package. Like an apple is an apple is an apple. You know what I mean? An orange is an orange is an orange. Greens, nuts, things that you can recognize, things that are as close to nature as possible. A hundred percent agree. In my pantry, I have beans, legumes, mm -hmm. grains. I have mm -hmm. mason jars, grains nuts and seeds. And then in my refrigerator, I have vegetables, fruits. I have some, you know, yogurt, but vegan yogurt. And I have sausages sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you and I, I bought hot dogs the other day, vegan hot dogs. They're so uh -huh. good. I know, I, know, I, know, I know I'm so bad. But... And you know what? We're here. We live, right? We're alive and food does bring us a certain pleasure. So I'm not saying yes don't have those pleasures in your life Thank because you. as long as you're alive you have to have the pleasures to feel fully here vibrant and interacting in the life that you have but yeah. the main thing is when it comes to food if you can inundate yourself 80 percent of the time with i would say plant-based foods 
You don't have to go all the way in, but 80% of the time, if you're eating real natural foods and another yeah. thing people think about, I saw something that said, yeah, sugar is the devil. Okay. So sugar, isolated sugars, like when we pull sugar out of the fruit, when we pull sugar out of whatever it's contained in, that's when it becomes too much for our body for the most part. Now I know everyone is different you can choose to eat however you want and that's the beauty of living in this magnificent world is that we have a choice you know we're free beings and so if you so, nostalgic podcast says sugar is my kryptonite i know it's just gonna oh, be <laughs> too much sugar can yeah. be but think about a pineapple i i just yeah. love pineapples and it's sweet, it's delicious, but when you're eating the entire fruit, you're getting fiber, you're getting phytonutrients. It means all these other nutrients yes. that's contained in that pineapple. God made these foods in a really beautiful, natural way where when we eat the entire fruit, then we're getting so much more than just the sugar, but yes. then you can get yourself to just love the flavor and the taste of a natural sweet then that's yes. a good way to kind of kick that sugar habit along with the, a nice little detox to cleanse your palate of sugar. Absolutely. I agree. And I think that natural sugars like fruits, uh, even dates that have like 30. Oh my gosh. Sugar. Dates. Oh my God, girl. You're so good. Yes. Anybody who has a sugar addiction, which I used to have dates. Oh my God. They're, mm -hmm. they're just incredible. And if you put melted chocolate and a walnut in it, and the ones that they, they pit it, and uh -huh. you eat that is just oh my god it's so good yeah, yeah. Uh, but i think um what they mean when they say sugar um that it's not it's poison it's if you have added sugars in everything you eat not the natural sugars but the added sugars absolutely is that what they're talking about so yes generally when people have sugar they say they're addicted to sugar it's absolute. I'm just speaking on the positive point, you know, like the fruits <laughs> yes. and whatnot. But it is the added sugar that really depletes our body and causes inflammation in the body and can trigger disease in the body that can trigger fatigue in the body. And yes. do you know sugar is more addictive than cocaine? That's and actual drugs. Well, it kind of looks like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And when we look around the world and we see how sugar is everywhere, I mean, if you look at something like usually an ingredient, um, the ingredients list in the foods that you eat, sugar is going to be there. It's yeah. always sugar. It's always salt. Always. Always. You, and so another thing, people who eat a lot of packaged foods, fat. Right. That's another thing. So when it says no mm -hmm. fat, low fat, because people still think fat is bad, which it's not. It's not bad. Our body needs fat, actually. Yes. Your brain so needs fat. Processes. Yeah, we need yeah. fat, but not the saturated fats, you know. But when it says no fat and low fat, do you mm -hmm. know the food has to taste good? So if it doesn't have fat in it, can you guess what it does have any grades? Sugar. Lots of it yeah really that's how they trick absolutely. you so they taste good absolutely. oh my god yeah the fat is out but it still has to be palatable it still has to taste good so instead of fat they'll put sugar in it oh yeah. my goodness they trick us you know just so it's the, all that mighty dollar they uh -huh. want profit they don't care about our health to be honest the companies that's really why don't. we have to care about our health and that's yes. why we have to that's why i advocate so hard to help people understand in the most simple way as possible about eating better eating to really fuel your body yeah and, and you, yeah and that's why i also don't promote that you need to have a certain diet because no. that turns mm -hmm. off so many people but really the inclusive thing is yeah. when someone says they're vegan and it's like I, I had someone say, I don't eat vegan food. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you only eat vegan food. Do you yes. know what vegan, vegan yeah. food is? <laughs> yes. it's, not, it's not, I think, also what works for you. Um, yes. You know, what you choose to eat because you know it works for your blood type. Like if you're a cancer survivor, in my case, I don't want recurrence. So, girl, I don't eat any processed foods. 
the plant processed foods, it's processed meats that are really bad for cancer patients. Alcohol is really bad for cancer patients. Yeah. And sugar, I heard it's bad because you gain weight and gaining weight is actually linked to increased risk for cancer. So mm -hmm. if you eat for Again, you know, if you're diabetic, you're going to avoid uh, refined sugars. You know, if you eat for your disease, if you have one, and for your blood type and for what your body can take that you don't have an allergy, I think, in my personal opinion, that's like the whole package. Yeah, it goes back to real food. You yes. know, it goes back to eating real food. And yes, nostalgic podcast. The <laughs> So if you are a meat eater, mm -hmm. the meats that anybody, like you were saying, Grace, that you, um, processed meats, processed yes. meats are bad for everyone. Every, exactly. It's, yeah, it's because with the processed meats, there's always these extra additives in there. There's these chemicals that are really terrible for us. And again, if you can stick to the cuts of meat that are as close to the animal that you're eating as possible, that's going to be good. And you want to watch the processing of them. You right. Ideally, you want to get something organic, something that's grass fed, something where the, the creature has eaten a diet that's more natural to them and not just fat and really quick on these factory farms and whatnot. That's a whole nother thing that yes. we're not going to get into because it's it's a lot. Yeah. Um, but yes, you want to avoid and the processed meats. So processed meats, think pepperoni, think cold cuts, think sausage, think bacon, mm. think ground beef. All of those things are highly processed and yeah. they're just it's all the things that people really love, like bacon and sausage. Right. That's what they tell us to eat for breakfast. You're going to have your pancakes, your eggs, your bacon, your sausage, and whatever else with that. Totally. So, yes. And um, also within the meats, I feel that pork meat would be at the lowest, you know, like I, I feel red meat is also um, increases uh, colon cancer risk by 40%. So what do you think about red meat? in particular, why um, do they say it's bad for you? Is it because of the way that they feed the animals, the hormones they give them? Um, or is it because just the meat is, red meat is bad for you in general? You know, with red meat, it's a combination of things. So when it comes to red meat, First of all, one of the main things is it takes the, a long time to process in our body. And in the colon, it sits there until it rots out. Ooh, girl, so what? That's how we digest it. Yeah. Ooh. And then if we're having red meat that is just commercial, like you go to your grocery store and you get a steak or what have you, you get the ground beef or what have you, then... Um, the way those animals are fed, yeah, because they're generally factory farms want to make money. And so the, the length of time that it takes a cow to naturally grow takes too long for them. They want it to happen as quickly as possible. So they overfeed animals with corn and with all other types of um, fattening type ingredients that a cow isn't necessarily supposed to be eating. And so right. they they fatten them up and then there are growth hormones, you know, oh. and there are antibiotics. Right. And I forgot about that. Yeah. And then they're overcrowded in the way that they are living their living conditions because I know. it's possible. And then they're standing in their poop and and not to mention the environmental effects that it has because cows give off so many greenhouse gases as well more than we would driving cars and doing things that we do in life so all of these things contribute to the way red meat is raised the way that it's grown the way that it's slaughtered and mm -hmm. when an animal is stressed when it's slaughtered that emits into the meat itself and so it's a, it becomes a metaphysical thing because if you're frightened and if you're stressed, then it's more so all of that energy is in your body, right? So all of that energy yes. is 
in the actual meat. A and doctor so told me. Yeah. 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 A doctor told me that. So it's not just metaphysical. That energy, that fear is is getting oh, in you. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so we're we're eating that. People are eating I know. that. Yeah. And also fish. I was blown away because I, I was like, maybe I can be a pescatarian, you know, instead of vegan. But the farm, the fish farms or whatever they're called. Yeah. They they feed them. OK, let's say salmon. I love salmon. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, they feed them like corn. They, they, they do. eat their own poop because the poop is there. They're all they in, do because they're in, a, in a terrible pool that is yeah. full, that doesn't get any freshness. They don't clean it. No, and, you and they're what? overcrowded and they're yeah. sickly. Yes. And a lot of times we'll get this fish. They put um dyes in like salmon is supposed to be a yes. color, you know. But and so they, they put dyes no. in there, and yes, steroids as well, antibiotics yes. as well, hormones, all of those things. So Absolutely. they yeah, they include all of that in there, so it becomes we're just eating a bunch of gook when you think about that. I know. Yeah. I know. I, I mean, I don't want to scare people into not eating anything. No, no, no. But fish, okay, with the fish, for example, wild caught fish is the best. Better. Yeah, it's much, better. much better. Um, yeah. I don't like the fishy taste because I'm not a fish person. I like the farm salmon. But I, no. I did the well caught. I couldn't eat it. I threw it away. I couldn't. It was just for me. It wasn't. That's why I'm not a vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, too fishy. I know. <laughs> there are lots of types of fish. So yeah. you could explore that or you could not. It's always no. your choice. You yeah. Know? Always your choice. But yeah, there are even problems with farm raised fish. I mean, there's problems all over. But at the end of the day, you want to try to find the best thing that mm -hmm. you can for yourself and for your health. So wild yeah. caught is going to be better. If you can go out and fish yourself, then that would be great. And the thing with fishing <laughs> is wild caught is we think of like these fishermen on boats with their fishing rails, you know, out there fishing. That's not quite how they do it anymore. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's another whole thing. <laughs> really? So, yes, they they overfish a lot of times as well. They cast out these big nets, and there's a lot of pollution in the ocean as well. So the fish that we eat, it can contain a lot of plastic because the plastics Ooh. have gotten into the ocean, and it is contaminating wild fish. Yeah, it's contaminating Girl. wild fish. Nothing and is safe. <laughs> Nothing. So that's why we have to do our best. We yes. have to do the best that we can. And I try not to overthink these things because, quite frankly, I wouldn't be eating anything. I just... I'm here, I, I know. Anything. I know. <laughs> I know. And that's why... I'm vegan and sometimes I do miss meat. I'm not going to lie, like especially red meat. I'm from Argentina. But then, you know, because cancer to me, I don't want it again. I don't want to go through that again. And I will do everything in my power to avoid going through that journey again. No, thanks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Passing on that one. Uh, yes. Um, we do have to do the best we can. Absolutely. You know, there's That's no guarantee in this life. Nothing. There's no guarantee about... No. Any of it, but don't Nothing. we want to stack the deck in our favor? And also, yes, I agree a hundred percent. And I always say, if you're gonna get cancer, make sure you're healthy. And this is why I say this, and I know it sounds ridiculous, but I think that I survived stage three breast cancer treatment because I was very healthy, I worked out. I ate healthy. I wasn't a vegan, but I ate very healthy with mm -hmm. eating every now and then. But uh, and so I think that staying healthy, whether you stay healthy until you die or you get a disease, you have a better chance of surviving a disease if you're healthy. Absolutely. And let me back this up a little bit. Did you say cheating a little bit? 
I know you know, don't believe in that. I know, I know. Yeah. So just so the audience knows, yes. I don't believe in cheating, right? Yeah. So when we say we're eating a healthy diet and we have something that may be in our mind not healthy and you think of it as cheating, what yeah. does that do to you? It makes you feel <laughs> like kind of a loser and it makes you feel bad about this food that you're yeah. eating. So I think no matter what, your mindset should be, I am a healthy person, right? And so okay. when you come from that place, the food that you're eating is going to digest and nourish your body in a different way. Absolutely. So if most of the time, like you're including these things in your diet. And so certain things, it's like the green list, the yellow list, and the red list. And the red list isn't bad, but it's a list of things that you don't eat that often. But don't yes. think of it as bad. I'm just not yes. eating these things that often because I know yes. they're not they're not the most nutritious. Absolutely. Yellow is, um, you know, so the the red list would be Oreo cookies. All right. <laughs> We're not yes. eating those that often. <laughs> no. It would be desserts in general. That's sugar. You know, maybe it's a really beautiful chocolate cake. Maybe yes. it's ice cream. Maybe it's what's your favorite dessert, Grace? Oh my gosh, I have so many. It's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we love Christy. Yes, we do. We uh, love Christy. I love y'all too. So, your favorite desserts would be in the red list. We're not eating yes. those that often, but no. they're not off limits, right? Because yes. when you say something's off limits, all you're going to think about is chocolate cake, chocolate cake. <laughs> That's what you, you want. Oh my gosh, chocolate cake, chocolate cake. That's yes. all you can think of. That's all you're going to want. So we don't we don't have a no list because yes. automatically your mind is going to go to, I want what's on the no list. Just because uh -huh. that's how we are, right? Don't tell me what to do. That's what I want. That's but exactly it. Want. But So the yellow list would be more so things that may not be the, like, okay, let's say bread. You know, okay. like bread is something that most people probably over 40 shouldn't be eating a whole lot of for various reasons. Yes. But it's not necessarily something that's bad. It's just we're really not eating this that often. Maybe I eat it a couple of times a week at most. Yeah. And and then the green list is I'm eating this every day if I want to as much as I want. I'll overeat it if I want. And that would be all of the good fruits and vegetables. That would be all of the just natural things. Let's say yeah. like berries, like apples, like kale, spinach, broccoli, anything like that. You can have yeah. as many lentils, beans, legumes. Oh, yeah, they're delicious. And yeah. also, like we always talk about like the rainbow. You always say do the rainbow because mm -hmm. we're attracted to colors. Also, I feel like whenever I prepare being vegan, you know, you're more, uh, you have to do a lot of colors, right? <laughs> because it's yeah. vegetable fruits. So I feel like when I mix colors, it's, it's just, it makes me happier for some reason. Cause yes. it's usually pleasing to me to be eating red, green, and yellow. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the peppers, especially you can make yep. a salad with the three colors of different peppers. And it's, amazing it's just and it you makes know you grace good. talks a lot about being vegan but guys even if you're not eating the rainbow is the right. way to go right For myself i'm not vegan but i call myself plant strong because most of my food my desire is to have most of it come yeah. from plants that's most of the food that i eat that's where i want it to come from when i'm looking at a plate that i'm making for a lunch for dinner i want most of that to come from Plants because 100%. plants nourish us. Yes, they have everything we need. Food. Yes. yes. And they're alive. They're mm -hmm. not dead. They're alive. So, okay, here's another thing I yes. just want to say real quick. So, yes. I was doing a little research back in the day because I'm not going to lie. Like, living when I was living in LA, I was sick of vegans. <laughs> I know. At one, point, at one point, I was really tired of vegans. I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh, here they go with this vegan agenda yeah. on me, you know? And so the whole living food thing, and it's like, okay, these foods are living, but yeah. why is it you feel so bad about the animals, but nobody feels bad about the plants? The plants, I know, the plants I thought about living. that. Yeah. yeah. So there was a test, right? And so in this test, a scientist it's the electromagnetic energy from the plants. 
Yeah. And so a scientist had a strawberry bush that was growing like in the lab. And then he had strawberry yogurt and he was eating the strawberry yogurt and the strawberries that were um, on the electromagnetic device it was, they were vibrating, right? And it's yeah. just like he was saying that they were um, reacting to him eating the strawberries and the yogurt, like you're eating our family. Our kind, yes. Yeah. So yeah. plants, they, we just yeah. don't vibrate on the same level as plants and can't understand them as much, but right. they are living. So giving respect to our food is always necessary. And just because we can't hear the plants, right. the foods because we know that they're alive. You know, um, I heard a yogi say that um, it's important, you know, because we kill plants and animals the same. It's killing, really. Uh, but to always thank your food. I always thank my food. You know, yes. the animal died for you. Yes. The plant died for you. So you yeah. can live. So if we're grateful to the food, then it kind of releases that yucky, like I had to kill a plant and an animal to eat, you know, which is right. really sinister if you think about it. But they kind of sacrificed. They gave their life for you. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why native people around the world, when they do slaughter an animal or they eat anything, they give thanks and they utilize the entire animal, you know, right. they find something useful for it so that it didn't just give its life. So I can just have some chicken wings. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I agree. <laughs> Another part that's really important for staying healthy is exercise. And before we talk about exercise, I want to roll a clip of the Tias, which is a series that we have with Stephanie Tejada, and it entered a lot of film festivals. It got accepted. It was the official selection of several festivals. Uh, hasn't won anything yet. <laughs> We're hoping the Tias don't it's give on the up. way. No, they don't <laughs> give up. <laughs> they just go, go, go. They don't care. They don't hear. No, they don't hear it. <laughs> so we're gonna watch them work out, and I want you to critique them and see if they're doing it right. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so how are they doing? Well, let's just say they need a little help from an expert to come and help them with their form, okay? A little bit, right? Yes. So remind me of their names. Marisa and Consuelo. Okay. And you are? I'm Consuelo. No, I'm not. My friend <laughs> oh, is Consuelo. Friend. Okay. <laughs> Marie, Consuelo and? Consuelo and Marisa. Marisa. Okay. So I noticed whoever was punching up that wasn't was, engaging their core. She was not engaging her core and she was looking up. She's going to get a crook in her neck doing that. Ooh, girl, that's not yes. bad. I'm going to tell, tell Consuelo. Yes. And then yeah. Marisa, who was Marisa. holding the weights, but she was doing just something like, like a T-Rex. Oh, yeah. She wasn't giving full range of motion. Like when you're doing something, you got to give it that full range of motion. So tell her she needs to find some extension and more flexion in there. OK, <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, thank you for uh, telling them what they need to improve. Um, yeah, that's, just be very starters. that's just for starters. That's just for starters. Baby steps. Maybe they'll win something at a festival because of you. <laughs> they work out correctly. We don't know. Uh, but so on exercise, this is what I was told as a cancer survivor that are things that I should do. And I do them. Okay. Which is swimming, uh, strength training at least twice a week, walking, and yoga. So those are the oh four things. Yeah, yeah, that they say. So but I'm assuming that it's good for everybody. What do you think of that program? No, it's not good for anybody except, no, I'm just kidding. No, it's <laughs> great for everybody. <laughs> yes or no. So here's the deal with exercise. Those exercises are great for 
every and anyone. Now, there is one particular exercise that is good for every single person. Yes. Anybody looking at this, there's one exercise. Can anybody guess what that is? I don't know. I think I know. I, I have a feeling I you know. You enough time with me, so you probably know. No, take a guess. What do you think, Grace? What I do you think, think it's walking? Like? Oh, okay. No? Well, the exercise that's good for everyone, no matter who you are, is the one that you do. Okay? The one oh, that you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't get the memo on that one, girl. <laughs> So walking is wonderful, but let's say you don't have legs that walk. Yes. So you would have to do something different, you know, like strength training. There's yes. a there's a man that goes to my gym and he is he cannot walk. He's in a wheelchair and oh. you would never know. It's not. Oh, he's doing great, girl. He's in better wow. shape than Walkers. Yeah, he's in such great shape. He goes to the gym and I mean, he's muscular, he's fit, Amazing. he gets around so great. So there's no limitation to where you go. The only limitation is what you think of yourself, how you limit yourself. Yes, and I so agree. moving your body every day in some kind of way is going to do you good. Like you, you're a swimmer. You enjoy swimming. That's something Love that it. motivates you that you want to do. So that's an excellent exercise for you. Now, me, on the other hand, I'm like a drowning giraffe in the pool. Okay. I'm going to so, teach you how to swim. I will. <laughs> when you come to LA. I'm not really motivated. I'm like, oh, then I have to do my hair. Is my swim cap going to um, stay on correctly? girl, it's too much. Like know, that's not lot. an everyday thing for me, but you know, so that wouldn't be my go-to. My go-to yeah. would be more like, let me get on this spin bike and, and cycle or something like that. I get so it. There are certain things that you mentioned that everyone needs to consider when they're planning what they're going to do for movement. So cardiovascular exercise, that's number one. That's where you said the swimming, the walking, the cycling, the running, like things like that. And whatever it is to get your heart rate up, that's going to be really great for your heart because what happens with our heart, our blood represents joy coursing through our body. So Ooh. we want to get that blood flowing through our body. We want to keep our energy flowing when we're just sitting, it's stagnant. And do you notice like if you're a little bit sad or you just don't feel like doing anything, once you get up and get your heart rate up, it's like your energy and your body changes, your mood shifts. Yes, a hundred percent. And that's it's because really we nice. keep our blood flowing. Yeah. Yes, a hundred percent. So you actually train online. So if anybody wants to train with you, mm -hmm. how can they contact you, Christy? What is your IG or do you want to put yep. out your email? Christy Petray, anywhere. You can find me on IG. Okay. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Facebook. Don't find me on Twitter. I'm there, but not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither. I kind of do it, kind of. But Instagram or Facebook is a great way to find me. Just at Christy Latre is my ad. And you can just DM me about that and I'll get back to you. Yes. So one thing I said was cardiovascular, right? So there's yes. three, three different things that everyone should be doing as a part of their exercise program. Two yes. would be strength training. So like you mentioned, especially yes. if you, everybody should strength train, period. I think so. Yeah. It's period. little weights, even if it's a two pound weight. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And oh, thank so, you. Look at this. This positive show is just what we need. Thank you. That's right. Thank, thank it, you. It is a very positive show. I'm enjoying this. I love putting that positive energy out into the world and to everybody who's looking. So yes. So another thing is strength training. And with strength training, you can have little weights. Look, you can have body weight. That's strength training because you're using your body as the weight. That's body weight training. Yes. So when you're strength training, think push-ups, squats. You can do lunges if it's good for your knees or what have mm -hmm. you. 
um, all sorts of things. Pick up some little weights. And on YouTube, guys, there are so many videos for Absolutely. Any, everyone. A hundred percent. And there. what I love about Christy, everyone, is like she will adapt whatever issues you have. Like I have a lot of issues and she will change the workout and adapt to what you can do. And that's, that's right. Amazing. And she does Zoom training so you can train with her on FaceTime, Zoom, anything. And uh, one more thing before we go. I love this. Thank you for this. You really are what you eat. It's not just a cliche. That's right. You Is are it? what you eat. Yes. And as we age, strength training becomes more important. We lose muscle mass as we age. Yes. And you know that the main cause of death in older people is them falling. Mm -hmm. So we need to yes, definitely, as, right? As we age, we need strength training. And do you think so? Listen to this. You know, a lot of times people, they keep saying, you know, as we age, we lose it. But you know what else we end up doing as we age? We end up sitting more. And sitting oh, is a yeah. major a major form, like it increases your mortality rate the more you sit. Oh my so god. We need to be up. We need to be moving. And think moving. about how active you are as you're younger. You're using your muscle yes. naturally in different yes. ways. But as we get older, we tend to stop moving so much. That is so true. That's why we're losing muscle mass because we're not really using our muscles. 100%. Like with my mother in law, I taught her how to just because she was saying, you know, I'm starting to lose it. And I said, you know, this is what you're going to do. And I said, it's just one simple thing. I want you to do it every day and just gave her one little thing to do. And it was to sit down and to stand up and to start with okay. five and then move yeah. to 10 and then move to 15. And she called me the other day and she said she's doing like 30 of them. And she said it's helping her to walk better and feel better. And she feels stronger in her lower body. So it's the smallest little things that will help us be functional mm -hmm. as yes. in life period. A hundred percent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the wonderful tips and all the knowledge that you gave us today. Wait, wait, wait. So I said yeah. three things. What three things do you want so to say? I always said two though. So it's cardio. It's oh, training. sorry. <laughs> and then there's one more thing and what that is, is flexibility training. So when you were saying yoga, oh, yoga is God. important and it doesn't have to be a hardcore like standing poses and asanas. I teach a yin yoga also, and that's just really stretching your body. So we have to do that or you're... We have to do that as we yes. age. If you incorporate these three things into your into your exercise routine, you're going to see amazing results. You're going to look good. You're going to feel great. And you're going to be functional and healthy all the years of your life. I love it. So it's cardio, strength training, and stretching. Yep. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, girl. You're, you're welcome. welcome. Awesome. And uh, everybody contact her for training and yoga, also strength training and yoga. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much, girl. Thank I you for having me. This was great. Yeah, it was. It, you were amazing. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. All right. So before we end the show, we have a few minutes and I have some little clips for you. So anyway, so as a female on social media, sometimes I get really weird DMs. Uh, and uh, so I wanted to share one that I got the other day on one of my fan sides. So mystery man, can you roll the clip, please? <laughs> did you just read that you guys i want to know okay we're going to have a little challenge for the next podcast i want screenshots of weird stuff like this like any text messages that you got that are really weird 
any um, DMs or whatever, any comments. If you can top it, I'm going to bring mine. And if you guys can top it, then I'll give you a free gift. Okay. I'll give you a free gift that you can get on my fourth wall, which is a website that we're going to put the link later. Um, all right. So another thing that I have on the fourth wall is a, a travel with grace. Basically, I just travel all over and I just shoot on my perspective, you know, whether it's the landscape or whether it's the restaurants or the little shops. So I'm going to start doing those and they're going to be up on my fourth wall. And I wanted to show you a clip of the trip I uh, made to Carmel, California. gorgeous i know i look like i'm gonna rob a bank any moment <laughs> but i'm not not today <laughs> i know i know not today for sure and last but not least be careful what you wish for challenge accepted yes please absolutely you will get a free gift you I know we all have those stories, all those DMs, those text messages, but I need receipts. I need screenshots. So bring it, JT. I want to hear all about it. I love it. Um, so also another thing that I want to do on this podcast is, you know, we all have our own state of grace, which is your ideal state of being. So if you email me your state of grace, okay, and I can read it on the podcast, I have your permission. Um, I don't have to say your name, then I will send you a free greeting card for my ex that I have on my fourth wall. It's a free one. And um, so roll that clip, Mr. Mystery Man. <laughs> He's taking a minute, but that's okay. I'm going to improv in the meantime. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know Thank that. You. You Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> if it you seems put to it be, on there seems to be a glitch in the universe. Just give me a oh, minute, please. Oh, no. Oh, Thank no. You. That was such a good video. <laughs> it's okay if you can't find it or it's, like, glitchy. Oh, there it is. Woo, yes. All right. So there you go. So email me your um, state of uh, grace and uh, I will give you a free greeting card for your ex, which is a very popular series on one of my fan sites. They all love it. All right. Last but not least, I don't know if you guys know, I'm a Spanish teacher, not teacher, but tutor or whatever you want to call it. I do online classes. Okay. I teach you Spanish. I'm really good at it. And I also teach swimming. So if you're in the LA area and you live close to me, I can teach you how to swim or your kids how to swim. So uh, my website is findswimmingandtutoring.com. And Mystery Man is probably going to put a banner or something with it. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I am. Uh, yes, I am, boss. Okay, good. Yay. I'm okay, working so on it. I'm working on it right now. That's okay. No, I hear you. I'll entertain them. <laughs> Guess what? I was looking for a video for some god awful reason. No, so I'll start. I'll start typing right. Now. Yeah, Excuse just type me. it so they know. Show yeah. glitch. This is live. No, totally. Yeah, we we're good. <laughs> All right, good, good save. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, Lydia, Christy, I love them. They're my Earth angels. Um, and. And I know they're yours too, because their stories and their inf the information that Christy gave us and Lydia's stories and, you know, what the conversation led us to, to talk about. It was just amazing for me. And I hope it was really amazing for you. And we are going to have another live The State of Grace podcast, probably in two weeks, I think we have it planned. So I'll keep you posted. Subscribe to my channel and 
Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm Grace Fraga, comedian on Instagram, Grace Fraga on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm everywhere. If you type Grace Fraga, you'll find me everywhere. I'm all over the place. Okay. And um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And I will see you in two weeks with two amazing guests. Thank you for tuning in and for all your comments. I love you. And I wish you all the best for you this week. Have an amazing week. Mwah.